Welcome to the topic on HCC TV. I'm Todd Duplantis. This is a program where we focus on our students, our faculty, and our reach into the community. Good to have you with us. If you're watching us on HCC TV, I want you to jump on over to social media. Make sure you follow us under Houston Community College District. You can follow us on Facebook, find us on Twitter, and also our YouTube channel. We have a very robust offering on the YouTube channel. If you subscribe, you'll get notices when shows like these are posted. If you're into podcasts, check out hccs.edu slash podcast, and you can download the audio versions of all of our shows, including the one you're watching today. We've got a great show talk to uh, bring you today. We're going to be talking about as we emerge from this COVID pandemic, well, the economy hopefully will be picking up. And one thing we do know, businesses are hiring and they're looking for employees very quickly. In fact, right now, well, HCC is here to help rapidly develop the Houston area workforce. We're joined today by Dr. Michael Webster. He's our Associate Vice Chancellor of Workforce Instruction, and he's going to be talking about these plug-in opportunities. Dr. Webster, good afternoon. Good to see you. We want to talk to you. Uh, I guess the key word is plug-in. A lot of folks may be wondering, you know, that I need a job and I need one now. Companies are hiring, but I need training. We've got a program available for them. That's right. Uh, you know, the, the pandemic uh, had us lose a lot of jobs in the region, over 350,000 uh, jobs. But uh, we're recovering now. We're at uh, about 128,000 uh, recovered. Uh, and folks are hiring again. So, you know, we've got a, a bevy of fast track programs, short training, six to eight weeks. And for the most part, there's dollars available for that training. Before we get into the programs and what's available, there's one website you can go to to find out all the information. I wanted to bring that website up at the top of the show. Where can they go to find out all about these programs? You can just Google HCC Fast Track, but if you uh, want to type in the address, it's hccs.edu slash fast hyphen track. Dr. Webster, let's talk about the programs that are available to people because you've got a number of them available and a lot of payment opportunities where in many cases your tuition can be fully covered. Yeah, we're trying to find programs that are short, that'll lead to good jobs, that pay well uh, immediately. So, you know, plumbing, pipe fitting, welding, electrician, uh, drywall, all the trades that I'm just named construction trades. But then in addition to that, uh, you know, some of the uh, programs in healthcare like EKG, uh, technician, uh, CNA, all, all good jobs that can uh, move you straight into your career. You know, as we learned over the past couple of months, especially in February when we were hit by that crazy winter storm, plumbers, electricians, boy, they're needed more than ever in the city of Houston. We've got a growing city, the construction continues, but events like that just prove how skilled workers are needed in vast numbers when emergencies arrive. For sure, I mean, there, there's a, a, a need for plumbers at that point. It was already a, a, a high need and uh, it just elevated that, that need. Uh, bringing them in from Oklahoma, while it helped us initially, we don't wanna do that. We want folks here in town to get jobs in plumbing and, and the other trades and, and start their careers uh, locally. You mentioned a wide array of uh, things. I mean, from plumbing to uh, medical careers. Are there, there's also some IT careers available as well. Isn't that correct? That's right. So cybersecurity, uh, obviously anybody is, uh, uh, that if you have a business, you have some, kind, some type of cybersecurity need uh, because that's what uh, the backdrop of networking is. So uh, that's available. Um, programming is huge. And, uh, you know, like I said earlier, we, we, we are offering training for free for the most part. We're finding ways to get folks scholarship dollars with relatively ease uh, to, to get into the, the program. We also noticed, we've done a little research on some of the programs, and I know some of the programs have um, off hours where you may be able to go to class on a Saturday or take some of your classes online or take them after hours to make it more uh, convenient for people who are working. So I guess uh, you don't have to make a commitment for a lot of time where it may just be a few months that you're training for, and you don't have to make a commitment to be there at 10 a.m. every every uh, Monday morning either. That's right. So we're trying to find a way to, to, to help people out as, as easily as we can. And to add to that, there's also childcare dollars available. If you, you want to work 
you need to get the training, but you got to stay home to take care of your kid. Don't let that be a barrier. You said three months is the usual course training. Um, tell us about the shortest courses and possibly the longest courses that you have in this uh, fast track training. Anywhere from about six weeks to a year in training. Um, something like truck driving is going to take a little longer. Um, we need to get you behind the wheel long enough so you don't uh, get in any wrecks along the way. Uh, but, uh, you know, some of these IT or the medical billing, those are short enough that you can get in them within eight weeks. You can get your certification within eight weeks, but are these able, are you able to use these as stackable, meaning you can come back to HCC in the future and maybe use your credits or the certifications that you earned here, put them toward the two-year degree, and if somebody wants to go into a four-year university as well? Absolutely. You know, uh, the, the, the mantra that you've probably heard me say a few times is you get some training, get a job, get more training, get a better job, and, and that's, that's quite easy in a lot of these programs. Something like CNA, which I mentioned earlier, uh, that's a great job starter in, in healthcare that leads to an LVN. From an LVN, you might go into an RN, uh, you might go into radi uh, radiology, you know, it, it, the sky's the limit there. It's a, it's a good starter career for you. For people who are enrolling right now, are you noticing any commonalities between them? Are they younger? Are they uh, older? Are they people who are looking back to the workforce? What's the main uh, demographic that you're, you're determining here? The bulk of people that lost their jobs uh, after, during the pandemic were really that 18 to 34 bracket that might have had their high school, degree, uh, high school diploma or GED, but really didn't have any more uh, education beyond that. So those folks are definitely ones that are primed for the pump to get into uh, some of these careers that we're talking about. Do you have to qualify to get into uh, these courses? There's a few of them that you do, um, you know, and some require background checks. You know, healthcare is, a, is an area that requires some uh, extra um, uh, requirements. But uh, outside of that, most of them you can get in with, with uh, fair, fairly um, limited amount of uh, requirements. Here's another thing too, we have a lot of high school seniors who are about to graduate and some parents out there maybe not knowing what their seniors going to be doing once they do graduate. Are these courses available for high school seniors to get into? They are and, and you know, as you mentioned, the, uh, the hours of the day that, that they're available, um, we, the programs run, you know, in, in different schedules, but there, there's definitely an opportunity for high school students, uh, seniors to get into it. And, and I might be getting mine that way, my 18 year old that way in a, in a bit here. So. And do you have partnerships with companies where you can, once they get the training, that the jobs are available for them, where it's an easy placement if possible? We sure do. And uh, we have a robust career and job placement service uh, team that, that not only helps students find jobs, but uh, helps them build their resume. Uh, helps them with you know, mock interviews before they do a, a, an interview. Um, just a wealth of resources to help them land a job after they finish their, their training. We're talking about fast track training here at Houston Community College. Dr. Michael Webster, our AVC of Workforce Instruction is on with us this afternoon. We've got some more guests coming up. In the next segment, we're gonna talk about the fast track training, but we're also gonna talk about how HCC can get you back into your classes and help you pay for it. All that and more coming up on the topic after this. Meet the scan. A simple procedure whose mission is to detect lung cancer early. I'm here to save you! But I feel fine. That's great, but you may still be at high risk for lung cancer. Oh man, that's a new fence. If you smoke, early detection could save your life. Learn more at SavedByTheScan.org. If you love them enough to relearn math so you can teach them math, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're correctly buckled in the back seat. Natural disasters are a fact of life in the U.S. And between activities and school, chances are you won't be with your kids when they happen. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids can help your children feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. The faculty at HCC represents the best of Houston. Whether your goal is a four-year college, a better job, or a whole new career, come.
Come learn with us. HCC, for everyone, anytime, anyway. Welcome back to The Topic. I'm Todd Duplantis. We're talking about the Texas Reskilling Grant. What is that? You're going to learn all about it in just a few moments. But first, if you're watching us on HCC TV, make sure to find us in social media under Houston Community College District. We're on Facebook. We are also on Twitter, Instagram. We got that out there as well. Snapchat, you can find us there. And most importantly, YouTube. We've got a great channel on YouTube under Houston Community College District. Please subscribe and you'll get notifications when these shows are posted. Okay, we're talking about the Texas Reskilling Grant. What is it all about? We've got Dr. Michael Webster, HCC Associate Vice Chancellor of Horse Force Instruction. And we're also joined now by Joe Ellen Price. She is the Executive Director of Financial Aid. Welcome back to the show. Good to see you both again. Uh, Joe Ellen, I'm gonna ask you, what is the Texas Reskilling Grant? Last fall, Houston Community College uh, applied for a very competitive grant through the Higher Education Coordinating Board here in Texas, and we were awarded $750,000 in grant funds uh, to give students to come back to school, finish up their, their degree, their certificate, or enroll in one of our short-term programs. Um, that money is available between now and the end of the calendar year. Um, so we're looking for students who are interested, who have been to school before, but are interested in coming back and finishing or interested in changing to one of our short-term programs that would result in um, a new career or a, a good job, a good paying job. Uh, the nice thing about this grant program is it covers tuition and fees. Now you mentioned who, what type of students are, are eligible for it, but do you have to go through an application process and be approved? Does it depend on income? What, what other factors go into this? The primary application to apply for this grant is called the free application for federal student aid. So students do need, need to do what we call the FAFSA. Um, that is one of the requirements they have to have a FAFSA on file. There is no uh, income requirements. So even if the income is quite high, the student will still qualify as long as they meet all the other conditions of the grant. And you know, the thing about FAFSA and when you do get these grants, being that HCC is so affordable, it usually in many cases will pay for most of, if not all of your tuition. Is that correct? That is correct. As a matter of fact, a lot of students don't realize what they can qualify by completing the FAFSA. And some students get federal and state grants that cover tuition fees, books and supplies, and give them extra money uh, for living expenses, such as travel expenses, or even help them with some of their housing costs. So until they do the FAFSA, they won't know what programs are available to them. Dr. Mike Webster, a lot of these programs that are covered in our fast track training, are they paid for out of this grant? Is that where the money is coming from so that students can get in, sign up and get their tuition paid for a lot of these courses? Yeah, this is one funding stream that we're using. And, and uh, you know, we, we want to find a way to get students scholarship dollars or, or financial aid in any way we can. And this is one great opportunity for students to do that. You know, you think about folks that might have uh, had to quit uh, school because they had to take care of their kids that were at home during the pandemic. Uh, they're looking to get back in, but they don't know where to start. This is a great opportunity to do it. And your tuition is paid. Now, we're talking about a website that HCC has established. We've got a number of programs to get you in and out and into the workforce very quickly. It's hccs.edu slash fast hyphen track. Go to that website you can take a look at. And uh, Ms. Price, from what you're telling us, uh, you are gonna have to fill out those financial aid forms in order to enroll in these courses. So it's just like enrolling at HCC, you need to fill this out uh, to get the, the, the aid that's available. That is correct. And we have plenty of help. We have a number of uh, virtual sessions going on right now that students can attend to get them assistance in completing the forms. Uh, if they're having any difficulty, they can join us in our Zoom lobby. They can call us uh, through our call center. Uh, they can make a virtual advising appointment. So there's many ways in which they can reach us to get help completing those forms. So if you want to get this fast track training, let's talk about the steps you need to take in order to get started. Dr. Webster, you go to the website. Um, do you set up appointment with an advisor? Do you fill out a form? How does it work? Yeah, so there's a form on the website. Uh, as soon as you fill that out, the program that you it lists which program that you're interested in, uh, as soon as you do that, you'll hear back from the program itself and uh, help you through the process of getting enrolled and getting in touch with financial aid. 
And speaking of financial aid, this is a grant. So, uh, Joelle, and it looks like, I mean, it's not an infinite sum of money. There is an end to the sum. So really, it's a first come, first serve basis. Is that correct? That is correct. Um, it will cover anywhere from $500 to $2,500 per semester. Uh, so they can get up to $2,500 for the summer session and 20, up to $2,500 for the fall session. Um, so this, the grant does end the end of this calendar year. Um, and you're right, you're absolutely right. It's first come, first serve until the grant funds have been exhausted. Dr. Webster, what's been the reaction? Um, have, have, is the, I imagine a lot of these courses are, are more popular than others. And I imagine some of them may be filling up pretty quickly. Are you finding that the case? Yeah, we, we launched the uh, webpage uh, the last week of January, and we've had almost 700 uh, responses to it already. So people are uh, eager to get back to work and get the training they need for it. So yeah, they're filling up. Here's another question, because I know there are information sessions for financial aid. Are there information sessions for these program courses where you can learn about them? Yeah, the, the individual programs do uh, in, uh, online and virtual uh, info sessions that, that folks can get information from. Uh, in addition to that, they're going to get a personal touch from, from the program itself. Joe Ellen, um, I want to ask you about uh, financial aid itself. You know, we've talked before. What are some of the misconceptions people have about financial aid? Um, some of the myths, and they've been around a long time, uh, some students don't apply for aid because they think they have to be full-time. Some students work while they go to school and can't go to school full-time. Most of our programs only require students to be enrolled in six or more credits, which usually translates to about two classes per semester. So students can be half-time and still get uh, um, access to a number of different programs, um, a lot of them being grant and scholarship programs. Also, some students think because they're, they're considered non-traditional uh, that they won't qualify, or they think because they're looking at a continuing education program, they don't qualify. Um, and that is not true. There's plenty of aid programs out there uh, for all types of students of all ages that are interested um, in going short term, long term. The only way you're going to find out if you're eligible is to apply. And when you apply for these, um, a lot of students think, well, I don't want to apply for the financial aid because I won't be able to get the scholarships if they're available. But that's not the case either. You're still eligible for scholarships and grants, even if you get a loan, correct? That is correct. Absolutely. And our work programs. We have four different student work programs yeah. that can offer students really good paying jobs while they're going to school. Our traditional work study program pays students $11 an hour to work on or off campus with community service agencies. Our um, new program called Path to, to Pro Profession uh, pays students up to $15 an hour to work through uh, different businesses across Houston. Yeah, we, I'll tell you, we use a lot of those work-study students here at HCC-TV. They're invaluable with the work, and they get, they get something you get, you get something you can put on your resume as well for when you get out to go out in the workforce. All right, so we're going to come back in just a few moments. Stick around with us. When we get back, we're going to meet up and talk with our partners over at Workforce Solutions. We'll see how that ties into this reskilling grant and also our fast-track training. Stay tuned. The topic returns after this. <music> There are 16 million children struggling with hunger in America. This is a serious problem, but one we can solve. Visit feedingamerica.org to help. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. When I was your age, I was just like you, fascinated by stars. <sighs> but now, I get to search for life in the universe. And who knows, maybe life is looking for us too. So we're like aliens to them? Yeah. Does anyone want to be a scientist now? I do. Awesome, we need more girls in STEM. Maybe we can find aliens. The faculty at HCC represents the best of the city. They're committed to getting our students to their goals. A four-year degree. Workforce training. A better life. HCC, for everyone, anytime, any way. Welcome back to The Topic on HCC TV. I'm Todd Duplantis. If you're watching us on the cable channel, make sure you follow us on social media. You can find us under Houston Community College District. Find us on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on YouTube, where we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. 
and you can get notifications when these shows are posted. Plus, are you into audio podcasts? Well, you can download them on our website, hccs.edu slash podcast. All right, we've been talking to Dr. Michael Webster. He's the HCC's Associate Vice Chancellor of Workforce Instruction. We also have Executive Director Joellen Price, who is the Executive Director of Financial Aid here. And of course, we are joined now by Michelle Castro, Strategic Planning Manager at Workforce Solutions. Good afternoon to you all. Michelle, welcome to the show. Todd, thanks for having us at Workforce Solutions. We love working with HCC and we're glad to be here this afternoon. Well, let's talk about that partnership. I know a lot of people are watching right now and they've said, I've heard of Workforce Solutions, but first let's just say exactly what you guys do. Absolutely, so Workforce Solutions is the public workforce system for the 13 county Houston Galveston region. Uh, most people know us by our retail footprint. We have 28 full-time offices and 10 part-time locations all across the greater Houston area. Uh, we do everything in terms of helping people find a job, keep a job, or get a better job. Uh, so we work with employers to fill their open positions with qualified candidates, and we help individuals who are looking for work uh, get connected to those opportunities. And the connection with, with HCC is incredibly valuable because you've heard a lot about the skills gap, right? And so a lot of times people want new careers. They want to have better jobs to provide for their families, but their background doesn't always set them up for that. So we work with organizations like Houston Community College to bridge those skill gaps so that our employers can have the workforce that they need so that people can get good jobs and so our entire region can have a very prosperous economy so that we remain competitive in that global market. Michelle, I know Dr. Webster had mentioned earlier, I think we lost around 350,000 jobs during the pandemic. Uh, people are watching now, they're wondering, okay, we know there are jobs out there, companies are reopening, but what are the hot jobs right now? Who's hiring? A couple of things to know about that. Um, Houston hit the peak of unemployment back in April of 2020, where it was about 14%. We're now down to 8%, and that represents about a quarter million people that are still looking for a newer, better job. Uh, the good news is that we have recovered at least at least half of the jobs that we lost. Uh, and there are jobs available. Employers continue to hire. The first place that you want to look is mytxcareer.com. The reason you want to go there is it gr gives you a great snapshot of what's going on. Uh, there are full and part-time opportunities. And in Harris County alone, there's over 60,000 job openings that people can apply for. Uh, with the pandemic, we saw that the biggest impact was on the service sector jobs. Those frontline uh, jobs that you can't do remotely. You actually have to show up for work in order to do those jobs. Uh, so we are seeing many of those come back online. But there's four areas that people who are looking to make a transition should absolutely look at. Uh, one is uh, anything related to digital literacy skills. Because again, as we have transitioned into more remote work, uh, you really have to have those skills as essential when you're looking for a new job. So any digital skills. Um, you can also look to IT as a growth opportunity because again, we are learning to uh, do work in new and different ways. Healthcare. Healthcare is always booming in Houston. We are home to the Texas Medical Center, uh, but as our population ages, uh, we have an even greater need and there's a variety of occupations there. You don't necessarily have to be direct health care. Um, also looking into the skilled trades. Uh, we, we heard earlier about the plumbers and we know that uh, by 2028, we're going to need to add 1,800 new plumbers every year in order to keep up with the demand. And on average, plumbers are earning about $26 an hour. So it's really a great opportunity. So if, if between any of those occupations, those will give you really good opportunities. And then never forget education. Uh, Houston is a uh, young 
uh, a young city. So we have lots of young people to educate. The other thing about education, it is lifelong learning. So places like HCC have a variety of jobs uh, that are connected into education. So that's always another good place to look uh, for growth opportunities. Dr. Webster, you heard the, the skills that are needed right now, or the jobs that are out there. And it sounds like with the Fast Track Training website, um, we're answering those needs, IT, um, at least with healthcare and skilled tradesmen. For the record, I'm going to steal the find a job, keep a job, get a better job. That's uh, I just want to let you know, Michelle. But yeah, we, we definitely have uh, opportunities connected to all those, those occupations uh, Michelle talked about. And again, we're trying to find a way to make it free for students to, to get involved. And speaking of free, I want to bring in uh, Joellen Price who is going to tell us about uh, the Texas Reskilling Grant. We talked a bit about it before, but Joellen, for many of these courses that are on the website, and I'll mention the website address again, it's hccs.edu slash fast hyphen track. On that website, if people go there, they can find a program. And in many cases, the tuition is paid for either by, by, through the financial aid in a grant, correct? That is correct. Uh, what we want students to do is we want them to complete the free application for federal student aid. Uh, by completing that, that's the starting point for us to look at all the different programs we have out there available to students. And most of the programs are in the form of grants and scholarships, which they do not have to be repaid. You get the funds, you go to school, you don't have to worry about it. Again, it's not like a student loan that you have to pay back later. So we're looking at multitude of opportunities of funding sources that can help them pay for direct tuition and fees. And sometimes we have enough funding to help them with um, indirect living expenses while they're going to school. Michelle, um, getting someone in there who's looking maybe for a job or for a new better paying job, um, are they willing to go back and get the training they need, especially if there's tuition assistance offered for them? What's been their reaction? Absolutely. You know, Pew Research just completed a study uh, just in February. And what it showed is that at least half of the individuals who lost a job due to the pandemic said that they have seriously considered going back to school so that they can get a newer, better job. So the interest absolutely exists. Uh, oftentimes where we see the disconnect is people knowing how to tap into the resources that are available. So at Workforce Solutions, our counselors are trained to not only talk about jobs, but also uh, provide assistance with career exploration and career counseling, because it's one thing to know that you want to do better. It is a, another set of skills and uh, questions that you need to process in order to know what's going to be the right fit, because all of these opportunities are amazing. But that doesn't mean that we're always going to be a good fit for every one of those opportunities. So uh, reaching out to our counselors or reaching out to the HCC counselors is a great first step because there is tremendous opportunity uh, in the job market. There's tremendous opportunity in terms of the educational offerings with all of the flexibility. And right now, because there is such a great need, there is also great number of resources that are available in terms of how to pay for that training. So there is help available uh, and no one should be ashamed of having lost a job due to the pandemic. Uh, most of us were in, it, most of us were affected in one way or the other and there are people that want to help so don't hesitate to reach out and ask for that help michelle how can they get a hold of workforce solutions and is there a cost for your services absolutely workforce solutions is the public workforce system so i say that we are much like the public education system or the public library our services are free and available to anyone who wants our or needs our help uh, you can connect with us online at wrk solutions Solutions.com, or you can reach out to us by phone at 188-469-5627. Simply enter your zip code and you'll be connected to the closest office. Right now, because of the pandemic, uh, we are limiting traffic into our offices. We encourage everyone to connect with us uh, through our virtual services by phone, by teleconference, by video conference, um, or uh, 
whatever makes you most comfortable. Uh, but we do have appointments available so that we can manage the traffic in our offices if you do, in fact, want that one on one in person consultation. Michelle Castro with Workforce Solutions, thanks for being here today and thank all of you for joining us. Of course, if you want to learn more about HCC's fast track training, make sure you check out the website address provided on your screen. I'm Todd Duplantis and I'll see you next time right here on the topic. Thank you.